never say that shit, that shit. Like bad kids, bitch, we reckless, yeah. Well, hearts are like taxes. I never thought that I would be making a part 3 to the Oppressor Mark 2 rant. I never in my goddamn life thought that I would be making a part 3 to the same bike, to the same video, in the same year, in the same, within a year. This is within a year now, and we're already on a part 3 to the Oppressor Mark 2 rant. I never expected for me to do this. I never had plans for me to do this. I thought I was... I was done when I made the the part two to the Oppressor Mark Two rant, and but guess what? Rockstar had to test our gangster once again. They had to push our buttons once a fucking again, and they made it worse. Every single update, this bike gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. It really gets worse and worse, and it's honestly fucking ridiculous. It is goddamn ridiculous how overpowered this bike is, and instead, and instead of Rockstar actually listening to the people that fucking play the game the fucking right way, um, instead of, of actually listening to us, they instead listening to the motherfuckers that run around destroying cargo and fucking griefing people on a day-to-day -day basis. This shit is fucking out of hand. This shit is really out of hand. Now, if you guys do not know what I'm talking about, now, as you can see by the title, they buffed the Oppressor Mark II. Not nerfed, they buffed it. And you must be, um, you're gonna ask me, oh, Guapi Troy, what do you mean by it's buffed? Like, they didn't say anything in the patch notes about, um, it's being buffed or anything. Wrong. They snuck it in without telling us. And what I'm actually gonna show you guys is gonna piss a lot of you off. And I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, but I don't give a shit. I'm speaking up for the community. Because if somebody doesn't speak out about this, then that means that we are fine with it. And they're gonna continue to make this bike stronger and stronger. And they're not gonna continue to listen to us. They're not gonna listen if we voice our frustrations. So, in this, um, now, also, I'm gonna pull up the clip right here. Now, I was watching this video, um, earlier when I woke up today, and I actually saw this video in my recommended section, saying that the Oppressor Mark II, uh, was, uh, buffed. Now, I watched this video, and this guy, and I'm also gonna link the video down in the description down below, this guy, he actually found out that the Oppressor Mark II, you can't lock onto it in auto-aim lobbies. Now, for example, when you're on foot, and this thing gets up within range with you, within your gun, and you have like a machine gun or an MG or something, you can't lock onto it at all in an auto-aim lobby. And I'm like, what the actual fuck? I thought this was clickbait or something. Because a lot of people were saying that it that it was in the comment section, but like he actually pulled up uh the the settings menu and actually showed that it was on auto that it was on auto aim. So I'm like, what the actual fuck? So I run in into GTA Online and as you can see in this gameplay right here, um, uh, me and my friend is actually um uh, me and my friend CK. Shout out to CK. He's he actually helped me out with this video and I actually tested that if this bike um that if someone was on this bike in an auto aim lobby and you had a machine gun and try to point it at them and see and see if it locks on, it does not lock on at all. And this this is fucking ridiculous. It really is. And as you can see by this clip, now I get um first I actually have him go on his oppressor mark two, and then uh, to see if I can actually auto aim. And I actually pull up uh, my and actually make sure that I'm in an auto aim lobby, and I'm on auto aim partial. Now I don't know if that has a part to do with it because I pretty much auto aim on anybody on auto or auto aim partial, but. That's just me, but I actually tried to lock onto him with like three or four different guns, and I couldn't lock onto him at all. I tried the the combat MG, uh, it wouldn't lock on. I tried the carbine rifle, it wouldn't lock on. I tried the auto shotgun, it didn't lock on. And I'm like, what the actual fuck? This is actually true. And I'm like, why the fuck would they do this shit when they see us complaining about this shit? And the one thing that I got pissed off about is is that we're in an auto aim lobby and. On regular motorcycles, and this is also my thing that I have. If since they want to classify this motherfucking piece of shit motorcycle as a fucking motorcycle, um, then that means it should be able to lock on to people, um, while you're on foot with a machine gun, just like any other person that's on a regular motorcycle. It makes zero sense. It literally makes zero sense. If that's the case, then classify this shit as an aircraft, because on uh, aircrafts, you can't even lock on to people inside the aircraft. Um, while you're on foot, you can't. 
Like, all you do is just, uh, you have to manually aim, uh, if you want to use a machine gun, but nobody uses a machine gun against a hydro jet, but meanwhile, you can't even lock on to people, because they, A, don't even get in the range, and if they do get in the range, like, you can't even lock on anyways. So, it makes zero sense why they actually did this shit, and... I feel like that they did this shit on purpose. And you want to know why they did this on purpose? Because a, a week a week ago when they actually released the Casino DLC, motherfuckers was actually um, saying that the Savage got a nerf. And if you, or if you guys are not familiar with this, a long time ago before the Casino update, the Savage was actually uh, had a unique ability where it can dodge via Person Mark II missiles because the lock-on um, the lock-on box was so, so weak that you can dodge pretty much any missile uh, there is if you know what you're doing. Now they, now they made it to the point as where if you actually try to lock-on, um, the, the missiles will become much more accurate and the hit detection on the Savage is much more wider. So people can actually hit um, the, the Savage with missiles now. And that was one of the... Uh, that was one of the actual counters to the Oppressor Mark II. Because I've seen countless amount of times where people actually fought the Oppressor Mark II with the Savage. And it was actually so, so good because the missiles um, dodged. Um, because like, they were dodging missiles left and right. And, and that was because the hitbox was low. Now that they buffed the hit the hitbox and made it wider on the Savage. The Savage is pretty much useless now against um, Oppressor Mark IIs. Much less other homing missiles. So, this shit does not make a bit of sense. It it does not make a bit of sense whatsoever. And Rockstar, and like I said, I feel like that they did this on purpose. They did this on purpose because we know, they know for a fact that we see us complaining about this. I, the amount of, t the amount of tickets that I sent to fucking Rockstar is fucking ridiculous. Like, I've actually sent off like three or four tickets saying that this thing should be nerfed and for good obvious reasons. And now they want to sit up here and want to patch or, and nerf one of the one of the top counters to the Impressor Mark II, if they get within range of you, all you just have to do is shoot them off. And most of the time when I try to shoot them off, they use the stupid ass boosters to get away from me before they're actually dead. So 90% of the time, I don't e I can't even lock on uh, I can't even lock on and kill somebody with my machine gun on the Impressor Mark II because they always fucking pussy out and fly away. So now they want to sit up here and take that one thing away from me, and um, they want to make this bike more and more overpowered by by each update. And it's honestly fucking ridiculous, because they see us complaining about this. They see us making videos about this. They see us making memes posts on Reddit about this. They see us actually submitting support tickets and feedback on um, feedback tickets on their page saying that the Oppressor Mark II should be nerfed. And this is ridiculous how they would sit up here and want to buff this thing even more and make this bike in a, a, a overpowered piece of shit. It's really an overpowered piece of shit if you're asking me. Because if if this is the case, then they should c classify this bike as an aircraft because this is not a motorcycle. If a, if this was a motorcycle, it would allow us to lock on the people with a machine gun with if it's in range. I was in range when I was making this video and I couldn't lock on to my friend and he couldn't lock on to me. And this is honestly fucking ridiculous that they want to sit up here and want to cater these tryhards, griefers, cargo griefers, etc. They want to sit up here and cater to them. They want to sit up here and literally baby them. They, they fucking baby these motherfuckers. And it's fucking disgusting how they do this shit. It really is. And meanwhile, you got people up here uh, like me who's trying to get money on this game, trying to play this game the right way. And meanwhile, I can't even get any type of support to save my fucking life because Rockstar want to sit up here and baby in favor these griefers and tryhards over people like us that's not even doing anything to the community. We're supporting the community and making the community a better place. But meanwhile, they're sitting up here supporting other people that's making this game a living hell for people. They're sitting up here doing this shit. And it's fucking ridiculous. And one more thing before I get out of here. I really want to have a conversation, a face-to-face -face conversation with the motherfucker that thought that this was a good idea. Because, uh, and we're not going to have a discussion. I, it's going to be me ramming my fist in your fucking face because this shit is fucking ridiculous it's fucking unacceptable how they want to sit up here and want to patch so much stuff they want to sit up here and patch the cargo bay doors on the bambushka um not allowing for us to put vehicles back there um that actually helps us out with cell missions or they want to sit up here and patch money glitches within the 20 the first 24 hours that they're out within the first three or four days but and they take and they take their sweet time with other game breaking glut bugs like the passive mode they took six years on the passive mode and they want to do this shit 
um, to, because they want to stop, um, because it stops cargo, um, not cargo sales, but short card sales. That, that's the only reason that they're doing this shit. Because if grinders were supporting their short card sales, they would be, uh, favoriting the, um, uh, the grinders. Because the tryhards and griefers, they're sitting up here and supporting their short card sales. And they want to baby them and fucking treat them like they're their firstborn kid. And it's fucking disgusting. It makes me fucking sick, dude. It really makes me sick. God damn it, this shit pisses me off, dude. I'm sick and tired of this shit, dude. I'm sick and fucking tired of this shit. I'm, I really am sick and tired of it. Because I sit up here all day. All fucking day. I have to deal with grunt, I have to deal with griefers, cargo griefers and tryhards on a fucking day to day basis. And meanwhile, they, we, I'm making videos and speaking out for the community and shit, saying that these, that the person Mark II needs a fucking nerf, and saying that we need an actual counter, or at least, at best, take the shit out of the fucking MC menu, because it's not a motorcycle. They want to sit up here and do the exact opposite of what they, we want them to do. And motherfuckers wonder why motherfuckers do money glitches all day. Because why the fuck should we obey their rules and obey their guidelines when they want to sit up here and not fucking listen to us? We've been complaining for damn near a year. A fucking year. About this fucking overpowered piece of shit motorcycle. Quote unquote. And they want to sit up here and want to make this bike stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger over the past fucking year and it's fucking ridiculous how they want to sit up here and do the exact opposite of what we tell them to do and what we want them to do but and why the fuck should we actually want to actually buy short cards for them and help them out when they can't even help us out you get what i'm saying so this is why i'm sitting up here doing money glitches now along with actually grinding to make sure that they actually see that i'm actually playing this game legitimately because why the fuck should i actually listen to them and, and obey their fucking rules when when they won't even take our cri criticism and feedback into consideration why the fuck would i do that shit this shit is really sad dude it is fucking ridiculous it is fucking ridiculous let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. I'm sick and tired of this, dude. I'm out of here. I'm Like this video, I'm about to be out of here, dude. But, like, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. This is your boy, Guap. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bruh.